Okay, so this video will be again an answer to another to other questions. And the question is describe three different group isomorphisms. It's again uh, about isomorphisms. Three group three different group isomorphisms from Z50 under addition into Z50 under addition. Three different group isomorphisms. Okay, let us um, see what's so special about the Z50 under addition. Well, uh, point number one. Is it cyclic? Yes. Z50 is cyclic. Okay. And the generator of Z50 is, for instance, 1. This might might be not the, the only generator, but this is a generator. Okay? So, again, as in the previous video, a isomorphism of a cyclic group is determined by the image of the generator. Okay, so when you are searching for isomorphisms, better to check some characteristics of your groups. Okay, because some of these characteristics they have to be preserved. Okay, since it is an isomorphism. Okay, so. So each isomorphism from a cyclic group is determined by the image of the generator. So what is the order of 1? The order of 1 in Z50 is 50, right? Okay, so every single isomorphism must take the element of order 50 so an element here of order 50 should go here to an element of order 50 okay so the elements of order 50 in Z50 are going to be the integers in Z50 that are relatively prime to 50 okay so the set is not hard to do 1 is relatively prime to 50. 3, 7 and 9, it's obvious that they are relatively prime to 50. So the list is easy to, to do. 17, 19, 21, 23, 27, 29, 31. Okay, you can check that. So these are the elements of order 50 in C50, in C50. Um, that are relatively prime to 50. Okay? Okay. So, we need isomorphisms from, from Z50 to Z50, right? Or we can say we need automorphisms of Z50. Z50. Okay. Let's do like in the previous video. Let us take a first map from Z50 to Z50. Uh, where we are going to take element 1, the famous generator, into 1. So F1 of X will be 1X. This, this is becoming easy now. Okay. So, if you watched the previous video, this is really easy now. So a second one will take one, for instance, let me take a big number like, like what? Let me see here in the list what we have here, a big number. Let us take 43 to 43. So this second 
isomorphism will be 43x and now you can do a couple of isomorphisms here okay I wrote here two more isomorphisms I picked 17 here and picked 33 17 36 so 17 X and 33 X so the automorphism of Z50 the automorphism of Z50 form a group under composition of maps and this group is isomorphic to the group of units U50 so uh, I was more or less expecting the next question because in the previous video we saw that um, so in the previous video we saw that the automorphisms of uh, Z5 is isomorphic to the group of units 5 and now in this video we saw that the automorphisms of Z50 are isomorphic to U10 sorry to U10 now to U50 that's what I said right okay the next question is and I'm going to call this the third question um, the next question is U5 is isomorphic to U10 this is a very good question let us try to answer okay let us get the the U5 the, the group of units so this is one two three four right so one two three four um, one U is generated by generated by two right because 2 is here 2 to the power of 1 so 2 squared it will be 4 this is in u5 okay group of units 5 so this will be 3 right and 2 to the power of 4 that will be 1 right this will be 1 so 2 generates u5 very easy to check okay so we can say we can say that 2 generates u5 so u5 is cyclic right and the order is one two three four right okay what about the group of units 10 this is one three seven and nine and this one is generated by three okay so yes 3 generates u10 but the thing is um, the order of u10 is also 4 so any cyclic group of order 4 is isomorphic to Z4 so we can say that U5 is cyclic so is isomorphic to Z4 and 
U10 is cyclic, I did not write it here, is cyclic, generated by 3, and the order is 4, so U10 is also isomorphic to Z4. Okay, so we can say that this one is isomorphic to that one, so yes, is U5 is U5 isomorphic to U10? We are going to take the question mark from here and say yes. U5 is isomorphic to U10. Well, the next question is a good question. So, in the previous video, we saw that, in the previous video, not sorry, in the previous exercise, we saw that U5 u5 is isomorphic to z4 and z4 is isomorphic to u10 so u5 is isomorphic to u10 but what about for instance u5 and z5 are they isomorphic well we saw that the group of units order 5 or order 5 no the group of units 5 its order is 4 because U5 has four elements. What about Z5? Well, the order of Z5 is 5, because Z5 has five elements, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, right? So, we can say that U5 is not isomorphic to Z5, no way. U5 is not isomorphic to Z5, since isomorphic groups have the same order, and this and U5, the order of U5 is not the order of Z5, so they are not isomorphic. Now, what about U7? and Z6 are they isomorphic? Well, we pick U7 the group of units, right? So that will be 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? And we pick Z6 that will be 0, 1, 2, 3 4 and 5, right? So the order is the same. The order of U7 is the same of the order of the 6 So the groups have the same order. And now we have to check orders for each element in U7. For instance, we pick element 2, so element 2, the order will be 2, 4 and 1, element 3, it will be 3, 2, 6, 4, 5 and 1, so the element 3 generates U7, right? So U7 is cyclic. Cyclic of order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because the order of 3 is 6. So U7, the order is 6. Okay? and Z6 is also, so they have the same order. Okay, so U7 is cyclic order 6. Okay, so yes, U7 is isomorphic to Z6. Now, another question, what about 
u7 and the symmetric group of 3 s s3 are they isomorphic well we just saw that the order of units is 6 and the order of the symmetric group is 3 factorial right so it's 6 2 so the groups they have the same order this is an excellent example because they share the same order u7 is a billion right so it commutes but the sim s3 is not a billion okay you can check i have a previous video where i show this okay i i do the rotations and all that sort of stuff okay you can check that is very easy i remember doing some alpha Beta and then showing that they are different, something like this. Okay, you check the, the previous video for this. Okay, so um, so both groups should be a billion or not a billion, since one is a billion and the other is not a billion. Okay, so no, U7 is not isomorphic to S3. Okay, last question. What about U5 and U8? Are they isomorphic? Um, U5, we already saw it's this group, the group of units, right? Uh, generated by so u5 is cyclic and its order is 1, 2, 3, 4, right? What about u8? Well, u8 is 1, 3, 5, 7 generated by well, not generated by three uh, generates three and one, right? What about five? We only get five and five square, twenty-five, twenty-five, order eight. That's that will be one, right? What about seven? That will be 7 and 1, 2. I think I've done this on the previous video too. So U8 has no elements of order 4. They all have order 2. Okay. And U5 has an element of order 4. That's 2. So, if in order to U5 to be isomorphic to U8, the um, isomorphic groups they have the same number of elements of each order. So, U5 and U8 are not isomorphic.